Welcome to the video and to the channel. My name is Steven and I am now a third year dental student. And today's video is very long overdue. You see, a couple of months back, this very kind and awesome company, Lumident, was nice enough to send me a pair of their flagship loops, the very innovative Ergo Prisms. And it has been too, too long since I've given you an update on my process using these loops. I've had the chance to use these loops in both a lab setting, like a preclinical lab setting, as well as in our dental clinic here at school, now treating my own patients as a third year dental student. I've spent months with them. I've worn them for hours at this point, And I have a lot of thoughts that I think you will enjoy hearing if you're in the market for a new pair of loops and specifically a pair of ergonomic loops that will save your neck, back and eyes in the long run. We all hope to have long careers in dentistry, but one of the biggest roadblocks, if not the biggest roadblocks, that prevents people from actually doing that in dentistry are skeletal muscular issues. So what is the way that we young dentists these days can solve that problem? Something like this, something like an ergoprism loop makes a lot of sense to me. So in this video, I'm gonna get into the positives of these loops so far, then I'm gonna talk about some of the drawbacks or negatives, and then I'll give you kind of my overall thoughts. And by the way, this is going to be a two to three month update sort of overview of the way the loops have been, have been performing for me. I will be making more videos about these loops in the future, talking about more specific clinical applications and just diving deeper into the loops as a whole. So if you wanna see any of those future videos, make sure you subscribe right now to the channel and you will never miss any content that I release in the future. Also, if you hear any strange chewing noises I do now have a puppy and she's down here chewing on her little you know chew stick thing and so I'll never film these videos alone again so let's get into the positives and I'm starting off this section of the video with the overwhelming point that I want to make about these loops and it is of course a positive point and that is the ergonomics of these loops Simply put, make the loops worth it. I think that's a big statement. When it comes to a product, if you can very simply and succinctly say that one thing, and specifically the one thing that they are trying to accomplish, is enough to make you buy that product or make that product worth it, that's a big deal. If you're new to the party, basically Lumidense Ergo Prism Loops use prisms in their optics to completely get rid of a concept called the declination angle. Now the declination angle is essentially the angle between your eyes and the object that you're viewing. And what Lumident has done with these loops is allowed us, the practitioner, to sit straight up with our eyes straight forward and view something that is down here at our working length at our hands. That is fantastic. And put simply, it works. These loops very, very successfully allow you to sit straight up, look straight forward, and view your hands, which are down here working on the patient. It is just as advertised. The fitment process is very important, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the future, but when it comes to these loops, you are going to want an accurate fit because you are going to be sitting in a position that isn't your traditional position. You're not actually just going to be staring through some magnifying lenses down at your object that you're working on. You're having an object projected back to you. So what you're viewing in the image through the loops isn't actually what your head seems to be looking at, which is really a concept that is interesting. It's interesting to experience when you are wearing the loops. It's also interesting for people around you. But since this is the positive section and I wanna talk about ergonomics, I wanted to just tell you that off the bat, like the first time I wore these in lab, I immediately noticed that the ergonomics were making a big difference. I really enjoyed the ability to sit straight up and do dentistry. It's just comfortable and I don't want to understate this or overstate this. Just imagine what it's like to sit in a chair, usually like a stool with kind of a small back and then look down at something for hours on end. It's not a very comfortable position. So these loops get rid of that, and that is fantastic. We'll talk more in the future about the specific applications of these loops, clinically speaking, but the ability to basically sit perfectly straight up, also with your eyes straight forward. 
there's no strain anywhere. So from an ergonomic perspective, my experience with these loops has been flawless. It's been perfect. I have greatly appreciated the ergonomic benefits of these loops over a traditional pair of loops, and that to me makes them worth the money. I see them always being in the rotation of loops no matter what, and I think that there are specific applications in terms of the specialties and the procedures that we as dentists will do where these loops thrive. But in general, I think for long days, for long weeks, the ergonomics of these loops make them worth it. Now let's talk about another positive and that is magnification. So when it comes to magnification, I already have a pair of 3.5X or ascoptic loops. And those were the first loops that I ever got as a dental student. When it came to these loops, I was looking to get into a bit more magnification. I talked to Sierra at Lumident, who by the way, Sierra, if you're watching, shout out to you yet again, you are amazing. Uh, Sierra, I was talking to her and I said, you know, I really want more magnification. I've been just sort of desiring the ability to see my crown margins a little bit better, to see the orifices of my endodontic accesses a little bit better. If there's any chance we could bump up to the 5X ergoprism, that'd be fantastic. Sierra obliged, she was able to get me a 5X, and I really love the magnification of these loops. Now I will say, and I've talked about this in the past, but there is a bit of a trade-off when it comes to the magnification here. The field of view of these loops is pretty constricted. You're not able to see a whole lot in terms of the circle, your field of view there. It's not very wide, but you are magnified quite well. And I've really, really enjoyed that. I had the chance to do my first root canal with these loops last week, actually. And I was just working on a, a maxillary central, but what was fantastic was the ability to really see down into the canal through the orifice, of course, through the access and into the orifice. It was very noticeable and I really enjoyed that. So if you have some experience with loops and you're looking to jump up a little bit in your magnification, I would recommend the 5X. And in terms of the constricted field of view, I don't think it's a deal breaker by any means. I think the field of view is still adequate, especially for the procedures that I think these shine in, which are specifically crown preps and endodontic procedures. Another thing that is very important about these loops is because you're not looking directly through a magnifying glass at the object and because light is being bounced around in these little prisms the light output of the light itself has to be really really good really really solid and i think from what i hear traditionally lumident has been known for its good lights so the light on this thing has been great it has multiple settings that i can kind of phase through and find usually the brightest one so if i'm working on something really far away which based on my working length and the fact that my head and neck are straight up which increases my working length I can see something very far away with the combination of the 5X magnification and this really bright light. You really need a lot of light in these loops. This light is able to do it. This is the Prolux package right here. There's the battery and then of course the light right here. Uh, and it's been really nice, I've enjoyed it. And the other thing that I like about the light itself is the fact that it has a switch on the frame right there, which is cool. A lot of times, especially if you're wearing a lab coat, which we wear when we're practicing in the clinic, you can't really get to your light all that easily. And you're kind of fumbling around. Maybe maybe the battery is below the coat. You're trying to press the button and it's kind of a mess. With this little switch here on the frames, all you have to do is smack that next to your ear and the light will flicker on and off. And that's really a nice feature that I've enjoyed. Now, the last positive that I wanted to talk about, I just saw on their website. And that is that I think most of the people that watch my videos are students or will be students soon. So the benefit for you is that Lumident is doing some pretty good student discounts for all of their loops. So if you go on Lumident's website and you see anything that interests you, if you wanna pick up your first pair of Ergo Prisms or any of their other loops, check out their student discounts because they're pretty hefty and these are gonna be fantastic investments for you. You're investing in literally the health of your back and neck which I think as a dentist is, is almost the most valuable thing that we have other than our hands. I promise you that when we're in our 50s and 60s, many, many years from now, the back and the neck, those two things are really, really going to be important. And a career of sitting and looking down at your hands and in your work, it can do a lot of harm if you're not careful. So I really think that these are gonna be one of the solutions for people like us. If you're a student, check out the student discount. If you're not a student, the prices of the loops, in my opinion, are very reasonable and worth the money. Now let's talk about some of the drawbacks or negatives of these loops that I've experienced while using them over the past couple of months. The first and most noticeable one for me is sort of a safety thing. I'll throw the loops on so I can show you this point, but because of the way that the loops actually work, when you're working on a patient, 
you're basically sitting like this, right? My head is straight up, my chin is up, my eyes are forward, which is fantastic. I just talked about all the benefits of the ergonomics that these loops offer. But something that you may notice if you are a dentist or a dental student and you've paid attention in your classes is that there actually is a possibility of something entering under the loops right here if something flies up from the working field. Now, with a traditional loop, you are looking down at the working field. You're looking down at the object on which you're working and the glasses themselves act as both magnifying lenses and also safety glasses because since you're looking directly at the thing, you have glass in front of your eyes. But with the ergo prisms, like I said, your head is up here and there is this space that's created under your eyes. Now, do I think that this is a major problem? No, I think the likelihood of something flying under there is pretty low, but it's still theoretically possible. And it was something that I wanted to mention because sometimes when I'm working, I do feel a little bit of that stress of like, what if something broke or snapped and just went up into my eye? That is something I've thought about. The next thing is something that I kind of complained about already in my last Ergo Prism video, and that is the quality of the side shields. These side shields, I, I'm sure they do the job, right? But they're kind of flimsy, they're kind of cheap. They also move back and forth on the frames. They all kind of like, go back and forth like that because they're not actually attached to the frame itself. They're just kind of slipped over the frame. I just think that Lumident could do a little bit better with their side shields, come up with a bit more of a permanent solution, something that's a thicker plastic that actually snaps onto the frames. I personally would appreciate that a lot. I know that when I'm putting the loops on and off, often these side shields are just kind of like in the way, they're kind of flimsy and I don't love them, but they need to be there for kind of what I was talking about in the last point, which is the protection of your face and your eyes. Now, another drawback or negative with these loops is not something that Lumident can necessarily get around. Everything that makes these loops ergonomic and improves the ergonomics of the way you sit and the way you do dentistry has its own drawback. So the drawback of the eye strain point, which is the fact that you basically sit straight up and look straight forward, the drawback of that is that the optics are placed directly in the center of the glass here. Now, what that means is that when you are not looking at your patient's teeth and you're not actively working, you're kind of looking around, you're trying to grab an instrument, you're trying to see uh, the mouth as a whole and see kind of the, the context of what you're working on. Anytime you don't wanna look through the optics, it's very difficult with these loops to do that because of the placement of the optic itself. Like I said, this is not something that Lumident can get around because the reason they place them in the center of the glass is that, so that your eyes can look straight forward instead of having that eye strain of having to look down. It's really not that big of a drawback, but I've noticed that when I'm wearing the loops, it's very difficult for me to see basically anything. I have to kind of look out of the side of the glass to see anything and that's okay, but it's kind of a little awkward if I'm working with an assistant or something, I have to kind of look like this and, and reach and grab for instruments. Not that big of a deal, but I did want to mention it. Now the last negative or drawback that I've noticed is sometimes the light tends to kind of short out on me. For the record, I don't think it's actually shorting out. I think what it is is just this particular point at which the cord plugs into the light sometimes comes loose and that means that I will go to turn the light on and nothing happens. And when you're working on a patient, you're taking the loops on and off, that can be kind of frustrating because you want the light, you need the light, and you want it to just turn on on command. So not sure if I'm doing something wrong in terms of that. Maybe there's a solution that Lumident could, could send me with that. But I just wanted to note that. And I also wanted to note on this point that the same thing has happened with my oroscopic loops. I think most loops are gonna do that if you're taking them on and off a lot the light is gonna kind of short in and out a little bit. But that's really all I have for the positives and negatives in this video. I did promise you kind of my overall thoughts on the loops after a couple months of using them. Uh, the most important thing is I think they're worth it. I think they're worth buying and I think they're worth being your primary loop. I will say there is a specific application that because I have two pairs of loops now, I found myself using these for particular procedures and my Oroscoptic 3.5 Xs for other procedures. The reason for that is the field of view. With these loops, the magnification is very, very in there and the field of view is very small or more constricted. With my Oroscoptics, I have a wider field of view. I can see a lot more. The magnification isn't as great, but overall the loops are very clear and I can see a lot. So my point is there are certain procedures in in which I prefer the oroscoptics over the ergo prisms. But as a whole, I think you could get away with using these for essentially everything. The only procedures that don't really work well with these particular loops in the 5X spec 
are perio procedures. And if you're a dentist, you probably don't do any perio anyways. That's mostly something you're gonna do in dental school. But yeah, cleaning teeth, uh, going around getting probing depths, bleeding on probing and plaque scores and things. If you're looking through your loops, it can be very difficult to see everything just because the field of view is so constricted and you're so magnified in there and you don't necessarily want that when you're trying to get a holistic look of all of the teeth. But as I mentioned earlier, the procedures in which these loops really shine are fixed procedures. If you're working with crown preps, these are gonna be great. You can actually get down there and see the margins a lot better. And then also to endodontic procedures. I think these really shine. They almost function like an endo microscope. You're able to really see down there quite a bit and you're in that upright posture, just as you would be if you were looking through an endo microscope. So friends, I think if you're looking for a new pair of loops and you've had some neck or back problems with dentistry so far, however long you've been practicing, I think these are going to be the answer for you. I wouldn't hesitate in buying a pair of these loops, but make sure that you're very careful with the fitment process. That's something that I'd like to talk more about in the future is just the fitment process. I don't think that I was perfectly spot on with these, but I did use Lumidense Ergo Fit Kit, which is something they send to you and then you send them back pictures. Not gonna be as accurate as if you measured them in person with Lumidense reps, but Good enough, I think, in my opinion. I've said enough. Thank you again to Lumident for allowing me to make these videos, for sending me these loops. They've been wonderful, and I really look forward to continuing to use them in the future. And to the rest of you, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for listening to my puppy start to whine in the background. I'm coming, girl. And thanks again for watching and supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate it. We're closing in on 10,000 subscribers. We gotta get to nine first, but we're really getting there, and I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I am firmly into my third year of dental school, which means I am actually back into the swing of things. And I'm going to be able to start creating a little bit more content than I have in the past couple of weeks, getting back to a more regular schedule with my YouTube videos, which I'm really excited about. And if you don't want to miss any of those videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel right now. Also like this video if you enjoyed it, if you learned something. Tell me if you're going to get some Lumidents because of these videos. If these videos have made you excited enough to buy a pair of these, please, please let me know because I would love to tell Sierra and the team over there at Lumident that we're making progress and that we're bringing these awesome loops into the hands of more young dentists like me. So friends, once again, I appreciate you for watching. Like the video, let me know what you thought. And as I always say at the end of my videos, I will see you in the next one.